is HG0 worth getting into right now? Asks AOJ Pyro. AOJ Pyro. Uh, uh, so... AOI Pyro. Uh, AOI Pyro, HD0 is currently at the... Uh, let me, let me think how... See, <coughs> excuse me, apology. Let me think how I want to say this. Technology goes through several phases, okay? The very first phase is that the only people who can use it are enthusiasts. It's not ready for consumers. It's a giant pain in the ass. The hardware is cobbled together. And the only people who can possibly use it are basically people who are willing to build it from scratch. The next phase of technology that I, is that it goes into sort of production and is consumer focused, but it's still kind of janky and there's room for improvement. For example, uh, there may be small runs of hardware and stuff may be out of stock for long periods of time because they don't have the money to do more runs or there's just not enough demand. The hardware may not be as reliable as you would really want. The performance may not be as good as it will be eventually. And then the next stage is you've got sort of a fully, fully baked, ready to go consumer product where availability, reliability, and performance are kind of at a level where most people using it are happy. And I feel like HD zero is currently in that middle stage where if you just want a gosh dang FPV link that just gosh dang it works and and you don't want to be an enthusiast I feel like HD0 is not quite there that most people who use HD0 today and love it are people who are enthusiastic about HD0 and not just I just want to fly FPV I don't really care just please um so if you just want to fly FPV, I just don't, I don't want, I want just, just give me something that works. HD zero is not quite there. It, yes, it works. It's, it's out of stock a lot. Sometimes there, there are people who suggest that maybe the flight, the VTXs are not as durable as they could be. And I feel like the performance, the range and penetration is going to get better as they sort of go on. <laughs> But if you are enthusiastic about it, and there are many reasons to be enthusiastic about it, it has a great community. Uh, it has, you know, it, you, like a lot of people who are into HD zero think that the performance is good enough for them. Wh whether something else might be better doesn't matter. And they're very, very excited to be a part of what HD zero is creating for the FPV community. Then that would be the reason to go with it, in my opinion. <laughs> Now, that's my take on it. I think that the HD0 goggles are going to be very exciting uh, when they come out, but it's it's still too early. <laughs>